Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a document in InDesign, Adobe InDesign, and how to properly save it for a print. Um, so right now you can see that I have a basic document set up, um, just a header and some text and some pictures and some color blocks. Uh, so basically what you're going to want to do to set up this document is set it up with bleeds and margins. Uh, so right now you can see the bleed, which is this red line that goes all the way around, and then you'll have your margins, which is inside the document, and that's that purple and pink line that kind of goes around there. Uh, so the first thing you can do is you can set up your margins by going to Layout, uh, click on Margins and Columns, and you can see that uh, these aren't linked right now, and that I have it set at a quarter of an inch for the top, the bottom, and the outside, and then a half an inch for the inside. And you can see if you play with that, the purple line on the inside will actually move around. Uh, so right now I have it set at that, 0.5 inches for the inside. Um, this is set up for a perfect bound or a spiral bound book. So for that you would want to leave a little bit more room for the actual spirals to come down this side. Um, that way none of your text or anything like that is cut off when we actually go to print it. And then the, the rest of the uh, document is going to have a quarter of an inch uh, set up around it as a margin. And that's pretty much to prevent any text from accidentally getting cut off when we actually go to cut the paper. Uh, it's just more of a precaution. You don't want to put text too close to the edge because you never know what will happen if it's shifted over in the printing or if the cutting shifted over a little bit. You don't want to lose any of that valuable text. Uh, so the next thing you would do is you would go to File and you would go to Document Setup. And this area is going to let you set up the bleed in your document. And this one you do want linked. And for most printers, and for us especially, we're going to want uh, an eighth of an inch set up all around the document. So if you preview that, you can see that changing that changes that red box around it. So leave that at an eighth of an inch. Um, click OK. And you'll see that when we place pictures in here, or blocks of uh, color or anything like that, or even if you have words that are extending over, you want to uh, make sure that it goes past the edge of the paper, which is visualized by that black line around there, and make sure it goes all the way to the red area. So basically when we print it, we're going to be printing on a larger sheet of paper, and then we're going to be cutting it there. So you want to uh, make sure it extends there so there's no white line or white margin that actually goes along that page um, so that your pictures look nice and neat and they look like they actually go to the edge of the page. So when you're all finished setting up your document, you have all your bleeds and margins set up correctly and everything's in there, you can go to File, then you go to Export. Um, you're going to want to click Adobe PDF Print and you can save it. Um, I'm going to overwrite that document right there. And then when you go to here, you want to click High Quality Print. Uh, you want to go down and make sure that it is at the highest setting for Acrobat uh, to make sure there's no compatibility issues. And then you want to go into your Marks and Bleeds and just uh, check off Crop Marks. And then you also want to use the Document Bleed settings for uh, this document, which will just take that quarter of an inch, uh, eighth of an inch, sorry, that we said in the beginning. Uh, you can also check to make sure that your images are being downsampled to no less than 300 pixels per inch. And then once you're done, you can hit export. Um, click OK. So that uh, should have put it in my documents. And there it is. And so I open that up, and you'll see that my document's all laid out. And it has the crop marks, which are these right there. And you'll see that the document is actually bigger than an 8.5 by 11, which is the standard. US letter size. So you can see that the crop marks are going into the actual document a little bit. So we're going to we would be printing this whole thing, but we'd be cutting right here. Some to just cut off that margin of yellow and then some of that picture. And that'll really make sure that the pictures and all the colors and stuff like that go to the edge of the page. So it looks exactly how you want it with no white margins and to make sure that everything's set up correctly. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, I'll leave my uh, and contact info in the description so you can contact with me, me with any questions.